everyone welcome to learning literature with purva in today's video we are going to look at feminism what is feminism and the various waves of feminism so if you haven't yet subscribed to our youtube channel then do subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update feminism is the belief in the social political and economic equality between men and women now feminism is based on two premises Number 1 the gender differences is the foundation of structural inequality between men and women due to which women suffer a lot of social injustice Number 2 the inequality between the sexes male and female is not because of biological necessity but because of the cultural construct of the term called gender the sexes male and female the difference here is because of the anatomy the human anatomy that is the basis of the differences that is one thing but gender is the cultural construct it is a cultural construct that a woman is supposed to behave in a certain way a woman should be tender domestic submissive should not be aggressive should like the pink color and so on and so forth should be a good wife should be a good mother whereas men are again expected to behave in a certain way that if you are a man then you should not cry you should be very tough you should be aggressive and so on and so forth so gender is a product of cultural conditioning now related to this topic we have a term which is called patriarchy now patriarchy is a belief that both nature and culture have made men superior to women and thus starts the inequality between men and women because of a patriarchal society which believes that both nature and culture have designed men to be superior to women Now we will talk about the four waves of feminism. So the first wave of feminism it came at around late 19th century and early 20th century and it was mostly concerned with women's rights to vote. So before that women were not allowed to vote. So therefore the first wave of feminism was concerned with women's right to vote. it also advocated that women should have equal property rights and it opposed ownership of married women by their husbands so before that husbands used to treat their wife as if their wife is their property so the first wave of feminism vehemently opposed to this practice and now after the first wave of feminism women could vote and women could also own property the second wave of feminism occurred in 1960s and 1970s it refers to the women's liberation movement for equal social and legal rights it had the slogan the personal is political and it criticized the idea that women can find fulfillment only through home making and child raising Next we have the third wave of feminism which began in early 1990s. Now the third wave of feminism criticized the second wave of feminism because according to the feminists the second wave focused only on the experiences of the upper middle class white woman. So in the third wave of feminism what happened women of all countries all races all colors all religions were given equal importance because by that time we also have post colonial feminism so the experiences of the brown woman or the black woman were also taken into consideration the experience of the working class woman was also taken into consideration so the third wave of feminism was a huge hit because it was all inclusive the fourth wave of feminism began around 2012 and it is still going on So it focuses on the empowerment of women and the use of internet tools. It focuses on greater gender equality and argues for equal pay for equal work. So men and women they are not always paid equally for the same work that they are doing. So the fourth wave of feminism argues for equal pay for equal work. and it also opposes sexual harassment such as the recent me too movement that we all saw. 
then it also opposes body shaming and sexist imagery in media. So these are the four waves of feminism that we discussed in today's session. In the next session, we will continue with feminism, the types of feminism and also about feminism as a literary theory. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. If you found the video helpful, then do like it and share with all your friends. I'll be back very soon with a new video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can sign up for a literary criticism and literary theory online course by visiting our online academy www.learningliteraturewithpurva.com. The link is also given in the description section. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Thank you.